Today, I want to show you how to formulate rose organic growth shampoo in your kitchen. Let's go. I'm starting the process by sanitizing all the containers and equipment I'm going to be using with 99% isopropyl. You want to keep everything neat and hygienic. For this formulation, we need 39% rose hydrosol, co-glucoside 30%, glucobetane 20%, the mixture of two surfactants in the same jar, panthenol 2%, xanthan gum 2%, rose essential oil 1%, glycerin 5%, we're using liquid germal plus as a preservative and at 1%. We are warming our rose hydrosol to 40 degrees Celsius. And we're adding the xanthan gum into the glycerin. And we are going to mix it until it becomes an homogeneous slurry. It's very smooth blend. Then I'm adding the pantenol into the mixture of cocoa glucoside and cocoa betaine and I'm going to mix it slowly until it blends. I'm going to be very careful when mixing so that we don't create bubbles because these surfactants, they, they are things that give ladder to our shampoo. So you want to mix it slowly so that it doesn't foam up. Our preservative liquid germal plus is oil soluble. We need to add it to the surfactant blend so that it can disperse evenly in our product. And that's what I am doing. Then I'm going to make sure it blends well. Our rose hydrosol has warmed up to 42.3 degrees Celsius, which is very good. So we are going to slowly add the gum glycerin mixture into the hydrosol and blend it very well. Going to add the hydrosol gum glycerin mixture into the surfactant blend and mix gently in order to avoid having lots of bubbles. Now I'm adding the lavender essential oil. And I'm going to give everything a mix.
I'm checking the pH of our shampoo and you can see it is very high. I'm going to bring down the pH of the shampoo by adding two drops of lactic acid. We want a shampoo that is not harsh. It has to be gentle on the scalp and air. This is an organic growth shampoo, so we don't want it to be ash. The shampoo has come down to 4.01 degree and it's good and gentle. So we are going to keep it in our container and we are going to be labeling it. You want to label all your DIY products so that you know the time you formulate it and it can help you to know how to store and for how long. The shampoo lathers very well and smells so divine. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, share it and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that you get to know anytime I upload a new content. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.